Okay, now that we've got all the bellows stripped off of it, we have to clean the bellows up. First, we inspect the hinge to make sure that nothing is coming loose on the hinge, and it's not, and everything looks good on the block. So, just to get all the surfaces flat, what I've devised here is using a file, because they're really flat. I can go along it like this, and that cleans up the glue off of the edge. And if it doesn't get the pores, that's fine, because we want to seal really good. And that's a little rough still, but we've got to get make sure that we've got the, some surfaces good and smooth uh, on here. And we don't want the bellows to crack or anything, so... We're going to go along the edges, just making sure that nothing can keep the bellows from hitting, from getting hung up on anything when we go to assemble these. So this is the boring part of the job, uh, just making sure that there's no buildup of the excess glue. and. Dad beveled the edges here to keep glue away. So we have to make sure that, as you can see, this one has got quite a bit of this buildup along here. So we gotta get that smoothed out. Files work really good for that too. And we can get that groove, that chamfer, all the glue off of it. We gotta go all the way around. So this is what we got to do, and I've already got two of the ranks all cleaned up, and I've got some of the hinges repaired on this batch. Again, the files are really good and flat, so they're good for getting this, this surface here where the bellows is going to sit. And we just got to make sure that we've got that cleaned off so that there's no leakage from the glue. Again, it's the hot hide glue. It's heat sensitive, so we're going to look in here and make sure we've got all the... Oh, there's a little bit of the glue build up. This hot hide glue is pretty easy to keep to, to re-clean. To clean up from it comes off pretty easy again when you go to put it on we're gonna to see how that happens that's why it'll take a few tries so this is the boring part I guess you would say of the job because it's all clean up and anybody out there that knows when they're redoing something Cleanup is the biggest chore of all, but one of the most important. Again, not sure if anybody's ever going to watch this or not. But this is the labor of love for restoring the calliope. And looks like we've got the hinges in good shape still. But what we're going to do... My workbench top is pretty flat, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to sand. Let's see if I can do this change a little bit. We're going to sand on here. This is a final smoothing effort. A little 120 sandpaper makes the surfaces very nice and smooth. And we got to pay attention to the bottom area here. Make sure there's no glue around the hole because this is the surface that gets glued down to the the boards that you saw me cleaning up before. So we're going to do this. 
again, flatness is key. So, And now we've got it all smooth here. This is about as far as it goes, so we're good there. We do a little blow off here. We've got the small holes there that we need to mark. This is for that little spring that Dad put on them. So we're going to just mark that so we know where they are once the bellows gets. And doing Dad, the holes are exactly in the middle of the boards and all in the same spot. So that would be it. We're working on these. We uh, got started on the gluing process for the new new hinge material with a little bit of the uh, good glue. This is just Aileen's Tacky Glue. It works really well. Sets up quick and we've done a few of them. So I got six on this bottom 14. That's a lot. But I got more to clean up and that's what we're doing. Okay, more later.